What is spirituality to you, Dorian? Pretty much what I was describing earlier on. I, you know, it's not about having all the answers. It's about an awareness that we're much more than this. And there is much more than this. There's, you know, this table, this room. It's not even real, really. It's just the program that we're perceiving. It's all made of atoms. So how can it, how can it be solid? It's a perception. It's like a program we're in. And there's much more outside of this. And that I was realized and saw and felt and knew when I did psychedelics. Because it just takes you to a different place. When was the first time you'd done psychedelics? What was it DMT or Alaska first? It was actually ayahuasca. But the first thing I ever did was, was um, ayahuasca, really. But I did it in totally the wrong circumstances and probably very dangerous circumstances. But I didn't know at the time because I was ignorant. Um, so I went to Brazil and I met a girl who is now my wife. I met her in Brazil. And we planned a trip together to go to the Amazon. So we went out to the Amazon and I met a guy, some guides out there that were going to take us on a boat and we're going to go down the Amazon River and for a few days and sleep on the boat or sleep on the, the beach at the side of the river and all this stuff. So I was already... Uh, you know, uh, a cannabis smoker, yeah? So I wouldn't, maybe it's slightly psychedelic, but not really. So I was already into that. I already spent some time living in Amsterdam and spending time wandering around and reading books. And so I'd read about DMT and ayahuasca, so I had some understanding about it uh, 10, 11 years ago. So it probably wasn't so mainstream as it is now. And uh, I said to the guy, I said, can you get me some ayahuasca stuff? Uh, I don't know much about it, but you're supposed to go on this journey and see visions and get information and all that. I'd like to have a go at that. And he said, yeah, of course, you know, give me the money and I'll get it. So I don't know really if it was real ayahuasca, but uh, it probably was. He got me two bottles full. And uh, so no preparation, nothing. You know, I, I headline an ayahuasca camp in... Costa Rica, I've done three of them now, and there's, there's a real preparation. You know, you, you, there's no uh, alcohol, no weed, nothing like that for two weeks minimum before, and no sex, no meat, no dairy. There's a lot of preparation that goes into preparing yourself physically and mentally for this uh, ceremony, which is conducted by shamans in a very strict uh, way. So no shaman, no instructions, no nothing. And the night before, I was drinking vodka and doing lines of coke. <laughs> and I'm going to go and do ayahuasca in the jungle, right? <laughs> so one of the guys, he was uh, native blood, you know? So he's telling me, I've done ayahuasca, and he's telling me a bit about it. And he said, you know, you're probably going to throw up. You might shit yourself. It's, you know, it's not going to be pretty. But you'll learn something. So, okay. So he said, uh, you're smoking weed yesterday, weren't you? I said, yeah. So don't don't smoke any today. You can't mix the weed with the ayahuasca. That's so don't smoke today. I said, all right, huh? Okay, thanks for that. So we're ch 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 chugging along down the the river, and he's gone to me. Come on. Okay. I've gone into the little cabin. The captain's in there with his wheel. There's three big lines of coke on the side. And he's going, go on, one's for you. They've done one, and the other one's for you. I'm like, yeah, but I'm doing the ayahuasca tonight. No, 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 it's all right. You can have this. You can't smoke weed, though. So, okay. Fed the line of coke. A few hours later, I'm doing ayahuasca. Could have killed myself or something. It's like, but I was not knowing what I was doing. I was not with the right people. So I had ayahuasca. I was violently ill. Didn't get no... I'm like, I'm asking in my head, like... Where's the visions? Why I'm not flying like an eagle through the jungle and all this stuff and everything? Stop poisoning yourself. What? Stop poisoning yourself. But now, but where's the... Stop poisoning yourself. That's all I heard in my head. And I didn't get it at the time. I thought I was... I don't know. I didn't get it. And everyone was asking me, how was it ayahuasca? Ah, shit. No, I didn't. I just got really sick, mate. It's no good, that stuff. 
later on, I did DMT and I smoked DMT and whew, out of this world, just left the place and saw the connection of everything. Everything's all connected. Everything is all one thing. It's all one thing. There's nothing separate. It's all one thing. It's all connected. And there's numbers that make shapes, that makes reality. And I fucking know everything. So I'm telling everybody, I'm asking DMT, that's the one. Um, because I did it in a totally toxic state. And later on, I realized, you know what? I did get a message from the ayahuasca. Stop poisoning yourself. That's the only message that I needed to get at that point. And uh, then my next experience was, I was in Spain. I was involved in a gym business over there. It's a long story, but it was really stressful. And I was slipping into anxiety and depression. I wasn't sleeping. I had insomnia. I was in a bad place. And I was doing yoga, and my yoga teacher said, Hey, um, I'm going to the ceremony in a couple of weeks, ayahuasca. Like, maybe it can help you. Like, you want to come along? I said, I don't think so. Because I did it before and it was horrible and I did DMT, it's much better. You don't get sick or anything. So, nah, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know, but I don't think I'm going to come. Then a friend of mine uh, messaged me, a girl actually, who came to me at some point for some help and I helped her, And but we became friends. And she's a very sensitive, uh, sensitive girl. And she said, I got... Uh, a message for you. I don't know what it is, but I, I had a vision and I needed to tell you about it. So, so I called her. So what's going on? She said, well, I was painting. And she said, I was painting for hours. I was just lost in this painting. And I went into a trance and had a vision and it concerns you. So I've got to tell you about it. I don't know if it'll mean anything to you, but I'll tell you about it. I said, all right. She said, I was in a jungle and there was just three little native guys squatted down with the like a big bowl of liquid in front of them, and they're stirring it with a with a piece of wood, and they're looking at me, and they're just chanting your name, Dorian, 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 Dorian. She said, does it mean anything? I was like, holy shit, does it mean anything? That's ayahuasca. I said, and I've been invited to a ceremony next week. She said, you got to go then, haven't you? you got to go. And I went, and I, you know, I prepared properly this time and everything, and I went, and uh, it was just amazing, profound experience. I took the medicine. I spoke with a shaman before. I told him what my problems were. He said, yeah, you're, you know, you're just overstressed and your heart and your nervous system is under stress and I'm going to help you with that. So wait, during the ceremony, I'll come around and I'll do some stuff with you and we'll fix this. I said, all right. I took the ayahuasca and felt the effects coming on. I saw a green color in front of me and I got a female voice in my head saying, hello, do you remember me? I said, yeah, I remember you. So, are you afraid? I said, not afraid, no. She said, no, I'm going to come then. Is that right? Very gentle. And I said, yeah, that's great. She said, you're not going to throw up this time either. She came and just, I saw everything that was going on in my life from a totally different perspective. I saw it from everyone else's perspective, even the people that I thought were assholes and they were, you know, they were fucking me up. But I, they were, but... Not from their perspective. I just saw everything from a different uh, angle. And the next day, the next day I was a totally different person. I even looked different. People were saying to me, the fuck, you had Botox or something. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like all the stress Hello. had gone, you know. Yeah. It's like glowing. I'm like, what? you look great. And so I've only had two hours sleep and just went to ayahuasca. Like, you look great. What's happened? Just all that negativity was taken out of me. So then... That was the start of my real relationship with ayahuasca, which is it's a plant medicine, but it's got an amazing intelligence. It's beyond our understanding. And I believe that I was even used as a tool to put these camps on in Costa Rica to bring out all the people that came out there because it changed all their lives, and they're now changing other lives. It's like a domino effect. So, um, you know, the plants live on this planet as well as we do. So they don't want us to fuck up the planet because they live here as well. So they're trying to talk to us. And ayahuasca is a master teacher plant. So it's a form of intelligence. And I, I had three camps, 20 people. And we formed WhatsApp groups for all the people. And to this day, they're all in touch. Like yesterday, I was watching. I don't go on there all the time, but I'm watching them communicating. They're doing Zoom calls. They're sharing all the experiences. Their lives have just changed and they're helping other people. 
one person's opening uh, a flotation tank business and it's all around spirituality and they've all all their lives have changed tremendously for the better so um somehow i was used as a tool to do that to attract those people because they looked up to me because they're from the gym world 